Hello my dear listeners and this video today I will dive deeper uh, into XRP use cases. Uh, so I will be analyzing the uh, RippleNet technology and, and see uh, breaking it uh, apart and, and see uh, like how is it really using the XRP in itself. And then I will be analyzing uh, some of the Ripple biggest Ripple uh, partners are they using the XRP for their payments. So, but first, so we don't lose like you know the the whole vision of the this global transformation of payment. Uh, please listen to what the CEO of Ripple, Baron House, has to say. Like this is recorded six years ago, and or even fifteen years that are really hard to predict today. That are the foundation that we laid upon that Internet of Value. XRP is part of the heartbeat of Ripple. It is the foundation of how we think about liquidity management and a core problem that how the financial infrastructure works is around how liquidity is managed. Today, financial institutions are wired with pools of capital. They're called Nostro and Vostro accounts. And these are accounts that are pre-funded between financial institutions. And that capital sitting dormant and not being used for by the working capital, the lending or what have you. By using a digital asset, you can enable liquidity in real time. This is transformational to how global financial infrastructure is wired. Every marathon starts with a single step. For us, the first step is getting financial institutions engaged in working with us, getting them to understand how the core technology is ex-current. Well, you know, so, so you, you see that uh, really, like, you know, the, the, the problem is still that there, there is a settlement is not efficient and, and Ripple has the uh, best so solution to address, ad address it. So, so um, and adoption in the 2024 taking like you know accelerated uh, step you know like if you watch my previous video so this this is all very positive now uh, let's uh, take a look ab about the um, the um, ripple net okay so, so I found, I found uh, dive deeper in what is the ripple ripple net is uh, really is because ripple net according to what, what I found here ac according to uh, uh, <clears throat> this source it has three possible solutions X current, X rapid, X via. And only X rapid is using the XRP. Okay, only X rapid is leveraging the XRP. X current and X via does not require the XRP. M maybe if uh, someone is using you know one solution X current that doesn't uh, use XRP, maybe they can switch. It, it doesn't mean it's bad. That someone you know choose to use other solution because they might come back to X rapid later on. Other thing um, before I end up in analyzing the individual banks and if if they use XRP or not, the biggest Ripple partners. This is the article that states you know the biggest um, advantages and Ripple just recently won the the, the price uh, for for being the, the best. Uh, payments solution in the market in 2024 so uh, it, it talks about like you know the rapidity of settlement uh, it, it talks about low fees and energy efficiency uh, regardless what you think about the green agenda it's uh, you know it's in the policies of uh, biggest uh, the, the developed Western countries so they, they look at uh, uh, energy energy use uh, you know what while they choosing which technology they will adopt or not so and let's now go like, there is a list of the um business partners and i will start with this uh, indian bank uh kotak uh, my my hydra bank okay and the question is if this bank is using xrp however very important factor to be noted is that the blockchain solution does not use Ripple stock and cryptocurrency XRP. It powers a separate product called X Rapid, while Kotak Mahidra will be using X Current. Okay, so you see, you see here they're making it distinguished in, in this article from 2018 that's, that X Current does not use the XRP, but only X Rapid does. So if, you, if I go back to uh, this uh, breakdown of on the three layers. Like you have three possible options on a, a Ripple net. This is very important to understand. Let's go to the uh, standard bank. And um, it says again, the Ripple partner standard bank won't use XRP for international payments due to low adoption. Okay. And this is from April 2020. Maybe, oh, sorry, August 2020. Maybe, uh, well, 
Actually, it, it was before before a lawsuit. Before, before a lawsuit at the end of the 2020. Uh, you, you, you see, so now let's try to confirm, but don't panic yet. Uh, there is some good news down the road here. Okay, so I, I took another one from Brazil, B Tech Bank. And again, there is no confirmation that, well, it doesn't say it use or the, does not use, but uh, from 2020, January 2022, uh, GPT chat says, well, there is no confirmation that the which technology this bank is used. The standard bank, okay, uh, if you read that, you will see most likely they don't use the XRP, okay, for, for the, the, their payments. And the last one, SBI Remi Japan, okay, and it looks like if you l read this, the, the partner involves the usage of Ripple on-demand liquidity or the ODL service, which leverages the XRP cryptocurrency to facilitate fa faster and most cost of each international monetary transfer. So there is a, uh, XRP, I think, will be used more and more for international monetary transfer, not domestic, but the, the, the transaction that involves the, the, the current, currency exchange. And once the, the regulation uh, because the, the Ripple needs to get the pairs involved in the American dollars that runs the regulation. Mm -hmm. I think in 2024, 20, we could see the more adaption and we could see um, more XRP actually used and like, which is will translate in, in the positive price action. Mm -hmm. um, well, so if you like, that's going to be it for, for this video. If you like this information, please uh, like and, sus and subscribe and, and comment. Thanks for watching.